Action. Hi everyone, welcome to Dream Big Studio. I'm Riley. I'm Kendra. And we are coming to you live for our story time show. We have three books today, all by the same author. The author is Jory John. And Kendra, you're gonna read the first one, right? Yeah. What is it? It's The Bad Seed. The Bad Seed. Let's get started and see what The Bad Seed's all about. Oh, I skipped a few pages, so we'll go back. <laughs> there you go. I am, I'm a bad seed, a bad seed. You gonna show them the picture? Uh, yeah. to everything. I tell a long joke to no punchline. I never wash my hands or feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in lines every time. Mm -hmm. I stare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentence and I never listen. I glare at everybody. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I am a bad seed. <laughs> a bad seed. He kind of sounds like a sheep when he says bad sheep. Bad, yeah. <laughs> I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always like this bad. I was born on a humble seed, a humble seed, and it's on a simple sunflower. In, un, un, in the unremarkable in the unremarkable field I had a big family seeds everywhere we found ways to have fun I'm having fun we were close but then the petal dropped and the flower dropped and our, and our flower dropped this kind of Kind of a blur. blur. I remember a bad. Everything went dark, and then, and then, then a giant. <laughs> I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and hollered. I don't know. Do you eat things and spit them out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I flew through the air and landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. And a wad of gum. A wad of gum had a had popped in my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I became a different seed entirely. I became a, I became <laughs> ba a bad seed. A bad seed. <laughs> I, I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost. I lived inside a soda can. Mm. That's right, I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I didn't care and and it suited me. Mm. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided not 
don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I am ready to be happy. It's hard to be a good when you're so used to being bad. But I am trying. I'm taking one day at a time. Sure, I still could get listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk in the movies. And do and I do lots of other bad stuff. But I also say say thank you and please and I smile and I hold doors for I and I hold doors open for other people. Hmm? Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. Sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, He's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. That's the end. end of the bad seed. Of the bad seed. Now we have The Cool Bean by the same author, and it features this garbanzo bean, also known as a chickpea. Yeah. So cute. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. So it says, watch out. Here come the cool beans. And we think that he is the beginning of here. Of the beginning of the Bad Seed Book. That's right. And the little story. Little the little chickpea and beans. the Bad Seed. Here are the cool beans. Oh, yeah. Check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses. Yeah. The cool beans are known all over school from house to house across town and beyond county lines. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pod of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not totally sure why. I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar. Cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes. Cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd ever known. Cool. I'm not saying it right. There's how, how do you say it? Cool. Cool. Stretch it out. So cool. You can help me with the sounds. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses. They're a little too big. Yeah, yeah, that's why it makes it look cute. <laughs> I slicked my hair back. Mm, a little too slick. I strutted around. Ow. And I swaggered. Oof. I don't know how to do that. I swaggered. Swaggered? Like, like the way you move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was Still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. What did you sound? Honk. <laughs> I walked into stuff, and I was an uncool un bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete, so I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans and the beans like me. And yeah. guess what this beach is called? Yeah. Laguma Beach. Beans are called legumes. Oh. <laughs> the days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure, I missed them a bit, but it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship. And that's how it went. Until one day, 
I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. Do you know what their band-aids are called? Band-aids. Bean days instead of band aids because yeah, they're beans. I wonder if it may have a bean. <laughs> it just might be. That's not bad. That's not, bad. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> that afternoon, I was sitting in class. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then everybody just laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has been. Instead of a has been. Oh. It's a has been. Um. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, sure, but it was also everything. This is the great Gatsby. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. Oh, that's a weird smile. <laughs> the day made all the difference. It was a day that could have been really bad, if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. <laughs> Somebody had my bag. Or a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with cool beans again. How have you been, Bean? No, how have, <laughs> how have you been? How have you been? <laughs> Get it? How have you been? <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, even on the weekends. Okay, well, that's all the time. That is all the time. <laughs> Throughout all of this, I realize that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. Yeah, you should do that. You need a hand? Yes, please. Now that's cool. Oh, it's a cute bean. And that's the end of the cool bean. Now we have one last book. And and it's, it's like an Easter theme. It is kind of Easter themed. Look, it's colorful. It's called The Great... Eggscape. Eggscape. Egg. <laughs> egg. There's going to be a lot of eggscaping in this book. This is food related, so I might need to. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's see about these eggs. And you're going to help me with sounds, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Howdy. I'm Shell. An egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs, where are they? Good question. They're in somebody's stuff. <laughs> the thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it... The Great Eggscape. Escape. Eggscape. You get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me? I'm not really into the mood, in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. <laughs> no reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. Oh. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. I think I'm the egg. Are you the egg? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. There's part of me that wonders, what are they doing right this very moment? I wonder that too in my classroom. Hmm. Like I have a few guesses. Uh, breaking, oh, the, breaking wow. their shells. Right this very moment, what are oh they up to? Wee! Yay! Ah! So one's jumping, and two die. Uh -huh. One's pouring down on the person, another egg, and one's about the cannibal. Mm -hmm. We look amazing! So festive! Let's play a game. Everybody oh, pick. Yeah, he does. He, no, I mean, like, I thought he was a good egg. He was supposed to be evil. 
carton. Oh, in the carton. Yeah, I thought he ran away. Let's see what happens next. Everybody pick a good hiding spot. Great idea. Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocado. I'm blending in with the potatoes. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Do you know where they're hiding? Uh, yes. Yeah, you spot them? Oh uh, yeah, I think that one should have been a potato, and that one was like this. And that one could like fit right there. With the apples? Oh, the blue. Can go to the blueberry. Yeah. Uh, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. The great escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I don't know what an egg eats. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Boom. Noon. It's noon. Morning is officially over. Okay. Now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what, what to do. Meanwhile, those eggs are hanging out with the pickles. What are they saying? <laughs> and some veggies. And some oranges. Oh, the sunflowers. Oh, I can't see. The pineapple. Oh my god, it's so perfect. And some cheese. That's a good fruit. Pineapple, that was a good one. If I didn't know that was an egg, I would eat it. <laughs> I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. All the pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. Aww. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shelly. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Shall we look for the others? Indeed. This is like hide and seek. Uh, yeah. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you 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 and you. That's ten eggs plus me. And she goes eleven. Hmm. Wait, just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen? Meg. Meg. Wait, where are you guys going? To get some, some lunch, shall we? Maybe, maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Egg, egg, halt, halt. As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyways, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good, let's go. I think nobody's gonna buy them because they're all colorful. <laughs> Greg, especially started... the green ones, they look lucky. They kind of look like an avocado. Oh, yeah, maybe. Or maybe lime. Yeah, kind of. So, Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through the bag of marshmallows. <laughs> Shelby, come on, five. Sticky. <laughs> Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me? I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shelly, Shelly, I found a note by the cash register. Let me see a clue. Hmm, what clue did they get? Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shelly. I mean, I mean it's a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Where are they going to find her? Hmm. Bulk. Bold bulk. Bold bulk. Wait. A mountain in 
mountain, monster truck, and a light bulb. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, example. Bin. The bin aisle of a wall. Onward. Onward. They're going to the bulk bin aisle. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? They could be painted and blending in. Um, um, Shelly, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? It says bold coffee. Of course, Peg. Of course. Egg <laughs> shoulder stack unite. They're going to stack up. Oh my god, I love her. She's, is that Meg? It might be. What do they say? Knock, knock. We know you're in there, Meg. Find an egg tower. Oh, hi. I thought you ne you were never going to find <laughs> me. Nice work. Shelly, glad you found your way out of the car seat for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it just it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Oof. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all... Do nothing. The chance... A chance? The chance... To frolic? With your friends. Where they dance around and frolic. Oh, a disco ball? It's kind of like a disco... That is a disco ball. They're having a big dance party. Say, when's the next great escape, egg escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, Chad. That's the end. That is awesome. <laughs> the great es eggscape. Eggscape. The eggscape. It's hard to say. It is. We hope you enjoyed these stories today and tune back in for our next story time next week. Bye, everyone.